got one of those dads, those ethnic dads who got an answer for everything. You know those dads? Oh, Papa, when we go on holiday, can we stay in a five-star hotel? I'd do better. You sleep outside, you sleep more than a five-star. <laughs> oh, Papa, I want a color TV. Boom, now you see all the color. <laughs> I want an earring. Boom, now your earring for a long time. Did anyone ever get the ethnic sleeping tablet? <laughs> sleep. I'm really relaxed now, Papa. Shut up and sleep, hussy. And they never know how old you are, do they? And scare the hell out of you. How old are you now? Eight, eight. When I was your age, I was already nine. They change your age. They change your age to suit them, don't they? Like, you know, you're 16 and you do something stupid. Eh, eh, come on, you're a bigger man. You're almost a 20 now, hurry up. And then when you are 20 and you want to go overseas on your own, no, where you go? You're just a baby, yeah. Does anyone ever remember going to do the visits and you want to touch the biscuits and you're about to touch the biscuits and out comes the ethnic stun gun, you know, the ethnic stun gun, you know what that is, Adam? That pinch right under here. <laughs> Mine came with a bonus optional twist. <laughs> My old man would ask me stupid questions, grab his belt, ah, 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 I take it off or not, ah, ah. What about when he becomes a ventriloquist when you got in trouble, remember? We don't do risky things, we don't have hobbies, do we? Do you remember when you were at school, your Anglo mates, what hobbies do you have? Whatever my dad needs help with on the weekend. Sometimes my hobbies are making tomato sauce. Sometimes salami, last week we concreted the front yard. That's my hobby, mate. Discos, we weren't allowed to go to disco, disco. You go in your room, turn the music up, and I come switch the light on and off, on and off, on and off. Imagine an ethnic on Dr. Phil. You know when Dr. Phil says, you can't help what you can't acknowledge. <laughs> no. Dr. Phil, I can acknowledge I got hit in the head by a piece of wood with the nails still in it. The mole man stole from some construction site because that's how Italians finish our houses, construction sites. Mole man came home with a staircase once. Oh yeah, you laugh, we didn't even have a double story house. <laughs> Did anyone have to be the assistant in their own beating? <laughs> I had to help my father give me the beating. You go get in the broom, get in the broom. <laughs> Do you remember when he'd lose it, it becomes a ventriloquist when you got in trouble? <laughs> We're on holidays in Queensland and I said to my dad, Papa, oh, can we go to Dreamworld today or maybe SeaWorld? And every ethnic dad had exactly the same answer. It's not open. <laughs> but, but I can see people on the ride up here from the balcony. I can see. That's the cleaner. You know, I was talking about Darren. Darren and I are still good mates now. And you know what used to annoy me about Darren? He used to whinge and complain about doing the chores. <laughs> Fair enough. No one likes doing the chores, but... <laughs> When I found out this out, I fell off my chair. <laughs> I didn't know this about the Aussies. <laughs> you got paid for it. <laughs> you got paid to do the chores. That's a foreign concept for us. I remember when I first found this out that Darren got paid, I took it up with my old man and go, Pa, we need to talk. Darren, he gets paid to do the chores. He gets pocket money. My dad, an answer for everything. You're lucky. When I was your age, we don't even have a pocket. <laughs> I go, help me out, pa. Give me some sort of an allowance. I allowance you to live. <laughs> and it was embarrassing because we'd have to go to the movies, right? And Darren would come over. I had to ask for money in front of Darren. Oh, Papa, can I have 20 bucks? We're going to the movies. And Darren would make fun of me. Oh, don't you get pocket money? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Will I get an allowance? <laughs> Will I get the house? <laughs> okay, Mark, if you think you are getting married and you are going to have your Italian dad's life, think again. Now, this is what I thought I was going to get when I got married. So, Mark, this is my dad's life. For 50 years, my friend. My dad comes home, after work, the food's ready, warm, on the table, waiting for him. For 50 years, every night, he has his meal. For 50 years, every night, he gets up, doesn't touch a thing, goes to the couch, puts his feet up, 
watches TV. 50 years every night. For 50 years every night, my mum makes him his coffee. A nice little espresso. For 50 years every night, she puts two sugars in the espresso. For 50 years every night, she stirs those two sugars diligently, making sure there's not been a granule of sugar left. For 50 years every night, she grabs the coffee, she puts it right next to his side table. Here, Bell, have your cafe in haste. And for 50 years every night, my dad still has the guts to say, you put her the sugar. <laughs> so what was your name again? Surab. Surab. Right. Because <laughs> you represent all the Indians here. Right now. <laughs> all of us here want to know one thing from our Indian friends. What do you guys need to talk about? <laughs> Who are you guys talking to for the entire Uber trip? <laughs> you know what I mean? So you get in there, and at first you don't hear everything. After about two or three minutes, all you hear is, What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm listening to talking to somebody in my phone. What I'm talking about is things that people are uh, talking and talking about and people are talking and talking about it. Okay, but is it talking to me? Who is talking to somebody else? I don't know who is talking to, but it's talking to somebody who is talking to both of them. And you know, at first you feel rude. You go, was this guy talking to me? And then you have to confront him. You go, mate, are you talking to me? And listen to how smart the Indians are. He goes, I am not talking to you. I am helping an Optus customer. 